man, sometimes it's it's hard to show the finished product once it's uh, no longer about filming the process. I think this looks freaking disgustingly awesome. So recently I've been stuck at home, not really able to get much new uh, stuff to do art with. And I'm just like, well, I have some of this air dry clay. So first I made this big toe and I thought that would just be funny because it's a pun. Big toe, it could be any toe, it could be the pinky toe, but it's still big. So I call it the big toe. So this is something that I made. I'll put the link in the description to this thing. And I know it's gross and I got a couple questions of why did I make something so gross. It's just because it's fun and I like I like this. This is perfect for a Halloween show. So after making that, I decided why the heck not keep going with grossness. Now this thing is supposed to be like a rotten tooth with like a black staining or a cavity or whatever. Um, I, I didn't model this off of any particular tooth. Um, I didn't model this off of any tooth in particular. That's a better way of saying it. But uh, it's supposed to just be a generic rotten molar. And I think it turned out great. Now this is made out of some air dry clay and it's actually a quite cheap product. So, um, and also my inexperience probably led to this, but it cracked a lot, but I think it contributed a lot to the sculpture. I think it actually adds to it. I'm glad it, it cracked. It looks, it looks so good, I think. Now it wouldn't really work for every sculpture that I did with it, so I'll have to be a little more careful. I don't really know how to sculpt with clay. I just felt like, I just felt like trying it. And I think it turned out good. This will be perfect for a Halloween art show or any grotesque centered art show. I like it. I realize it's not for everyone. But uh, sometimes I make stuff, even though I don't think I'll be able to sell it necessarily quickly. I just, I don't know. It's neat. And I like experimenting and trying new things. And I have, I have sculpted a little bit with clay before, but not well. And intentionally not well, in fact. Um, just seeing how it behaves and stuff as, as a medium. And... Uh, these last two uh, projects here, the tooth and the toe, I kind of was more deliberate in how I sculpted with them and I like them both. So uh, I'm definitely gonna do more. Uh, the, uh, the blood you can see is shiny in this. I was gonna put fat layers and stuff in there, but I wanted it to be more like fresh if you will. Like I did put some like bruising and stuff on this and uh, uh, in the tooth I used a bunch of the same colors to do the to do the, the cavity colors and stuff and I think those colors they work together to be really disgusting. This one obviously has like a big ugly ass toenail. This one just is and I made it shiny. This one's not shiny because it's didn't just come out of a mouth. This one just came out of a mouth you know, if I'm trying to tell a story with it. So I made it shiny, put like almost a whole can of clear coat on it. And then I used some five minute epoxy uh, resin glue for the, for the drool. And I just like it. Anyways, 